This tale the tape brought to you by Modelo, food for those with a fighting spirit. Tisha Torres and Weili Zhang, both 29 years of age. Zhang, the taller woman by three inches. She will have a two and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars back inside of the buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 18 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Weili Magna John. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record, 10 wins, three losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, presenting the number seven ranked strawweight contender in the world, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Chris Tyone, our referee for this one. The great Brittany Palmer is here. Thank you, Brittany. Tisha Torres, her last fight against Joanna Young Jacek, the eighth time she's gone the distance in nine UFC starts. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Weili Zhang is in the red, Tisha Torres is in black. Torres acknowledged Zhang as a fast starter. Something that she felt like she'd have to look out for. Nice spinning attack there from Zhang. Torres, just an absolute workhorse in the gym and life. She got a college degree while training for a Rose Nama Yunus fight back in the day. And has fought every big name straw weight you've ever heard. Weili Zhang for her last UFC fight finished her training camp at Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This time around, wrapping it up here in Vegas at the UFC's Performance Institute. Tisha Torres is trying to time her, look, trying to figure out how she moves on the outside, but not engaging too heavily and definitely avoiding grappling exchanges with the incredibly strong Weili Zhang. Pretty good counter right there from Torres. She's looking for it over the top again. I love how light on the feet these ladies are. I mean, you see it looks like they're jumping rope the whole time. They're just on their toes, they're in and out, they're moving, they're light on their feet. It looks good, it's slick, it keeps movement, it hides their offense, and it sets up their defense as well. Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Again with that spinning back kick. Mm. Zhang's had success with that. There it is again. It's working Ooh. really well, Joe. Oh, nice oh, headlock. Head Good look at this. Tisha's gonna roll her over. Very nicely done by Tisha. Back wow. up to her feet. And a right hand for her troubles. Very nicely done by Tisha Torres. Yeah, that's a good sign for Torres. Zhang so strong and physical for this 115 pound division. I Tisha, like Torres. I, sorry. sorry, she's very strong herself. She Go is. Ahead. No, I was just going to say, Joe, I like how Whaley kind of circles towards the weak side of Torres in order to pull her into that spin kick. I mean, she see how she's kind of mm -hmm. twisting. She's moving Tisha into the power. There it is. Yeah. And so she's just setting it up by, by luring her into it. She's not even, it, it's just good timing, good setups. And there's just a different look in the eyes of Tisha Torres than there was when she fought Ioana Yeon Jacek, and she acknowledged as much. Wayward spinning attack there. Zhang's background is in Wushu Sanda, which essentially is kickboxing with takedowns. Trying to take Tisha down here, unable to do so. Looks like she might have got caught with something on the way into there. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the replay, but she's working really hard here for the takedown. Good defense by Tisha Torres. Whaley is strong. Oh, look at this. Whaley's on her back. Wow. Is strong. Wow. What an amazing job capitalizing on that exchange there. In the scramble, catches the back, but she's kind of on the side here. And this is using a lot of energy. Yeah. A lot of energy for Wei Li. She, she gets very tired holding that grip and kind of hanging off. She's on her back, but on the side. What she wants to do is adjust in order to get the choke. She's got to get an arm under the chin, and then most likely she'd like to adjust. Now she's adjusted. She's much more on her back now. But she lost the hooks. And Tisha's going to get out. And a nice right hand by Tisha Torres. And some swelling under the left eye of Wei Li Zhang. That might be what we saw, Dom. Well, what we saw with that right hand, she keeps landing the right hand on the break. And once they get close, Tisha's just executing much better when they're close in the pocket on hitting Wei Li, uh, Wei Li on the way out. And that's what's really winning right now. She's landing the big shots right here in these positions. And look, Tisha capitalized on that exchange. And now Whaley rolls her over. Wow. Oh, back and forth. Phenomenal job by Whaley. And that's, that's, that's what we just saw with Tisha doing that to Whaley. And that's because these girls aren't settling their hips after they land the takedown or land the headlock. Tonight's Corner Cam is brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, better sports drink. Grab one today at Circle K. Mm. Mm. Listen, we need a little bit more feints. I need you to be a little looser. You were doing good right there, but I need some of those feints, a little bit of a level change, okay? Just to shake her up so you know what you're doing to come back with some strikes, okay? Okay, so when the clinch, that position is very important. Okay, it's something like that happens. Hands together, shoulder high. You did perfect. On the takedown, try to land inside the half. Okay, this way you're gonna have more control. And as we see here, a left hook lands. Tisha goes to throw a, a head kick. And right here, a takedown time. Headlock by Wei Li. And she gets rolled through because she doesn't settle her hips. And here, Superman punch to another headlock by Torres. And she doesn't settle her hips, so she's able to get rolled through by Wei Li. American top team is just drunk with high-level coaches. Nice job there by Tisha's boxing coach, Mike Rodriguez, and, of course, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, Marcos Pahumpa de Mata. Talking about some of the head position there on the clinch. Here we go, round two. Big part of the impetus for Torres getting back to American top team was just to have able-bodied fighters in her weight class to train with regularly. Oftentimes she was going one-on-one -on -one with her fiance Raquel Pennington, who's a naturally bigger woman and fighter. You know what I like about watching these ladies is they don't give up when either of them is in the defensive bad position. They just keep fighting, 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 fighting. There's so much scrap in both these girls that even though one of them might get a headlock, they never quit the position. They're able to roll each other through. Ooh. Beautiful spinning back fist. There's just a lot of scrappiness in both these girls, and it's making a fun matchup. Zhang loves those inside leg kicks. Danielle Taylor can attest to that. Torres able to read that spinning offering from Jean. There's that inside kick again. She's really relying heavily on that spinning kick. Well, Joe, if she if Whaley kicks the inside of Torres' leg, it makes Torres go the way that she wants into the spin. So she's setting it up with that. She's setting it up with the movement. And it also takes away the spin attacks of Torres because her lead leg is getting attacked. So now she can't spin and set on it. She's doing a great job with her kicks in this round, Whaley. There's a nice inside kick and then a left hand as well. These girls are very well matched. I mean, they're trading almost exact offense and landing the same kicks and then countering well. It's just more oh, boom, like beautiful that. left hook. Both of them landed heavy there. More volume by Whaley, and that's what we're seeing here. She's a little bit more active. Oh, 
Significant strike advantage for Zhang, 26 to 8 unofficially. Less than three minutes now to go round two. Zhang lands again. She caught her with that left hook coming in. She's just relentless with her attacks, constantly firing off those inside kicks. There it goes again. Zhang accrued a lot of experience overseas, fought in Mongolia, South Korea, Japan, China, Thailand. And she's not allowing Torres to set. She just keeps, keeps keeping her off base. Now Torres gets one off. But she's keeping Torres on the defensive. It's all those kicks, Joe. Mm -hmm. The cheap kicks, the switch jump cheap kicks, the inside kicks, the counters, the spin kicks. All these things keep Torres thinking. But Torres is fainting well, and she's countering at the right time. But she might be behind on the strike count in this round. That kick, yeah. too, that causes issues. Good right hand by Torres there. Oh, great exchange. Another she head loves lock. that headlock to the throw. Now she goes with the wizard. Good defense by Torres. Here comes another headlock, and that's because of the over under that they're in. It gives the opportunity for the headlock. There it is again. Wei Li on top, keeping the pressure with the wizard and the half guard. Landing, trying to scoop up the crucifix position, but because Torres has that half guard leg, she's not able to cinch it up the way she wants. And Torres is able to create a little space. So now Torres inside the closed guard of Jean. So what happened there is you saw Wei Li step over the wizard. In wrestling, they tell you never step over the wizard because that's what happens, you get reversed. And by stepping over the wizard, I mean when you have an overhook, you can't step over the back of your opponent. You have to stay and run to the front, headlock, or try to stand up, come to a neutral position. The Whaley does have a very good offensive guard. And look for her to try to attack. If Tisha leaves her arms inside, or if Whaley can tie one up, she's got an overhook on that right arm. She's doing a really good job of stopping the ground and pound as well. Controlling the posture. And then when Torres does posture up, she's doing a good job of controlling the biceps, keeping distance. You see her there. Using the foot, nice up kick. Yeah. Good hammer fist though by Tisha. And a good visual for the judges there as Torres ends the fight in top position. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, better sports drink. Grab one today at Circle K. The, the 45 on top. top. It's there, but you have to put the, put the jab first, though. Jab to the chest, come over the top, or double jab and come over the top. When you double jab. Here we see Tisha Torres landing a right hand and then a beautiful left hand by Wei Li Zhang. Right hand over the top by Tisha lands on the temple. And there's another right hand on the jaw and a second one behind it. And here you see the ground and pound by Tisha being thwarted by the up kick by Weili Zhang. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack here we go, last of time. UFC. Fight. So here it is, five minutes to decide this one. Tisha Torres came in number seven in the world. Weili Zhang with a number next to her name for the first time at number 15 in the world. Nice. Did it again with the sidekick. Just Wei Li Zhang's constantly coming forward, and Tisha's starting to time it. Nice leg kick by Tisha. Good start to this final round for Torres. She's done well adjusting in this third round to the same tools that Wei Li was using, and now she's using them back on her. The timing has changed. She's found the timing better, Torres. from Zhang. Oh, oh, right back. back. Nice kick to the body as well. Oh. oh! They're hurting each other for sure. 
both of them got hurt in those tra in those transactions right there. I like that transaction there, Brian. That's good. <laughs> Some pretty significant swelling around that left eye for Weili Zhang. But this is a totally different effort out of Tisha Torres. Granted, a different opponent than Jessica Andrade or Ioana Jacek, but a different offensive urgency from Torres tonight. I think it really speaks to the training at American Top Team and her recognition that she needs to make an adjustment. Right. There's that spinning kick again, but this time Tisha was on the outside of it and caught it. Oh, nice job by Whaley turning it around. Well, you can see why neither of these women have ever been finished. Good kick to the body there by Whaley. All right, less than three minutes to go. Jean back to the well with that inside leg kick. You see the damage on the inside of Torres's lead left leg. She just never sits idle. She's constantly moving forward, and her, her volume is excellent. Constant attacks. She's thrown more than 100 strike attempts than Torres unofficially, and there's a takedown for Jean. I think that's huge. The fact that she does that, the fact that she, she's constantly keeping Torres on the defense, and now the third round, 2.13 to go, she's on top. She's a little high. Look for Tisha to go to a single leg here. Oh, she goes to half guard. For Tisha, it is imperative that she get up off of her back, reverse the position, or get back up to her feet. She needs a butterfly underneath that, that leg that she's clamping herself down on if she's going to get up. She's got the underhook. If she butterflies that leg instead of hooking it down, she can create space to get up. But by locking her legs there, she holds herself down. Well, in half card with double underhooks, if she can just switch onto her left hook and get out more, she, it, it is possible for her to escape. She's got to get her legs out. That leg, her legs are locking her down. She can't get her if she doesn't get her hips yeah, she's out. She's post. stuck. She has to move her hips before she can post. She's just using the top half of mm -hmm. her body to defend right now. She needs both top and bottom in order to escape this position from yeah. Whaley. Unless she sweeps her. Correct. She's, she's got that lockdown on that left leg of Whaley. But Whaley's so strong, and her base is so excellent. Tisha's got to get out of here, and I agree, Dom. She's got to switch just to butterflies or something. Now she's getting beaten up here, and this is big for Whaley Zhang. Some of Whaley Zhang's patented ground control here. She only landed two takedowns, but making the most of this one. Well, it's just a minute left, and if you're gonna get, if you're gonna submit in that minute, keep this lockdown. Don't let her pass. But if you're not gonna submit, then you gotta go to butterflies. Use your underhook to get to a hip. Use the fence to wall walk up and try to create some opportunities on your feet if you're Tisha Torres here. But locking yourself down in half guard without a sweep or a submission attempt, you're burning the clock and you're losing, in my opinion, in this round. Yeah, I just don't think she knows what to do here. She's really stuck. Valuable seconds taken off the third round clock if you're Torres. And a massive advantage in significant strikes for Wei Li Zhang. Well, Tisha Torres certainly had her moments in this one, but all Wei Li Zhang down the stretch as she controls Torres for the better part of the second half of the third and final round. Good job, ladies. All right, let's take a look back at the action. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Now, here we go early in the fight. Look at that beautiful teep by Tisha. Sidekick to the body as well. This is early in the round, rather, catching her. Look at that right hand. Beautiful right hand by Tisha. Now, she got inside of that turning sidekick, initiated this grappling exchange. But Weili Zhang just relentless in her attack, and this was huge. Once she got her down on the ground, got on top of her, put her on her back, Weili Zhang just maintained that position for the majority of the end of the round. 
And I don't care who you are or who you are fighting. When you accrue an 18 fight winning streak in modern day mixed martial arts, Dominic Cruz, you're doing something. Might be 19 here in a matter of moments. That's right. She's. You saw it right there. I mean, beating Tisha Torres is no easy feat. She's got a good, well-rounded game. And Wei Lee went out there and just executed an awesome game plan. Great kickboxing. Executed takedowns at the exact right times at the end of rounds when she might have a close round because the striking was back and forth. She did the right things for ring gener generalship and just being a smart fighter. Wei Lee, I believe, in that matchup. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. Here with the scorecards is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Whaley Magnuson. Wow! <laughs> You guys can be really good friends. Yeah, you love oh, yes, I love that. Thank you. you love when you go to Beijing, pull her up. Okay. You guys can train together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never been in China. That's yeah, good. Nice to meet you. Up. Thank you. I'm here with the winner, Wei Li Zhang. First of all, Wei Li, congratulations on a very big win for your career. The highest ranked opponent you've ever defeated. How happy are you with your performance tonight? 恭喜你获得了职业生涯当中最重要的一场胜利 I feel really happy, I feel excited, I feel relaxed. It's my honor to fight with a top-ranked fighter in this UFC story division. It was my pleasure. This was a fantastic victory for you against such a highly-ranked fighter like Tisha Torres. Was there anything surprising about this fight? Tisha Torres的排名非常的高,非常的强。这场比赛当中,你有什么感觉到吃惊的地方吗? 我感觉非常吃惊,他非常非常的强壮,超乎我的想象,对。然后... I'm very surprised that Tisha is so well-rounded. She's so strong. She surprised me. Well, she has a lot of things to, for me to learn from. This fight moves you to 17 and 1 and very likely places you on a small list of contenders that could be fighting for the title in the future. Give us your thoughts on that. Well, uh, actually, 19 and 1. 耐心的玩,這個你現在是打到了19,1的成績,很可能你後邊會拿到挑戰權,有什麼想法?我非常高興,因為這離我的目標更近了一步,因為我的目標就希望成為冠軍。I'm so pleased cuz I'm one step closer to my goal. My goal is to become the strawway champion of the UFC. Congratulations on a fantastic performance, Chris. Thank you everyone. I'm so happy be, to be here. I'm from China. My name is uh, Wei Li. Number me. Thank you. Wei Li Zhang, ladies and gentlemen.